Hello, I'm Luca Immesi, I'm a filmmaker and a Venture Soul Club certified trainer. Today I want to show you how to use uh, an Apple monitor display to uh, make a color adjustment and also to deal with the quick time gamma shift using Rec 709A. Of course, it's better to do color correction with the, an external calibrated monitor, but if you are traveling or uh, on the fly, this kind of workflow can be handy. So let's start. First thing, we have to adjust the settings of uh, this uh, uh, display. In my case, I'm using a MacBook Pro M3 Pro. The native profile of this uh, uh, display is Apple XDR Display P3. So P3 uh, has a gamma of 2.2. Uh, uh, so we will keep the compatibility with this kind of uh, gamma. If we go to display settings in system preferences and uh, we see now that uh, this is uh, uh, the native uh, display, the native color profile of this display. We can click on the preset and we can click on customize presets and inside uh, I have the uh, color profile available for this monitor. I can uh, I like the color profile and uh, customize it. So if I click plus and here uh, it makes a copy of my profile and I can change the, the name and uh, I can see the properties of this profile. In, uh, in this case, Apple XDR display is P3 D65 and has a pure power of 220. This pure power means the gamma curve. So it has a gamma of 2.2. I close this one and I already created my two profiles, uh, my two color profiles that we will use for this monitor, but uh, I show you how to do it. So I go to this HDTV video that is profile for Rec 709. I click plus to customize it. And here, if I uncheck apply system gamma boost, that is the correction that uh, the Apple system does to the gamma. So if I uncheck it now, I have a color profile with the gamma of 2.4. We can check it here, but uh, if we go to power, that is the gamma. So it's 2.4. If I want to make a 2.2, I just uh, here, I just right here to 20 and here. And now I have my profile uh, uh, Rec 79 at with Gamma 2.2. I will save it, but because I already did it. And so we will use this uh, profile to make our color adjustment in DaVinci. So I select here HDTV video gamma 2.2. And uh, when I do this, I can't change the luminosity with the buttons anymore because uh, uh, it fixed to 100 nits. That is the uh, standard for Rec 709 color space. Now we are in DaVinci Resolve and I have to adjust some uh, things. So we go to general preferences of DaVinci and inside that we go to system and general and in general I check use 10 bit precision in viewers if available and use Mac display color profile for viewers the second one is very important and I hit, uh, save and then in project settings in color management we set our project uh, like this color science, the normal YRGB and timeline color space DaVinci white gamma to intermediate and output color space we set it to Rec 709A. Now we do our grading. Now I'm using uh, this free version of uh, Filmbox Lite uh, is uh, for a non-commercial project. Uh, it's, uh, it's a very nice uh, plugin. Let's say that uh, I I did my uh, color correction. This is a, a raw, red raw file of uh, my previous uh, movie. 
and uh, let's say that uh, okay I I finished the, the color and I want to do my export so I have my file ready to export it and here on color space tag and gamma tag you can leave it same as project because it's already in rec 709a so i click add to render queue now i have already exported the file so i won't do it but let's say that i will export the file this is the screen of da vinci if i go here in quick time and i open the exported file you can see that the two files are completely identical. If I go to Chrome, for example, I already exported my file and also here the file is completely identical to QuickTime and to DaVinci Resolve. You can change also color profile here for the monitor and come back to default p3 monitor you can keep the compatibility also with this color profile i hope you like this tutorial thank you very much see you next time ciao